This is Abraham Salton from Jerusalem with the Tumboom Studio tutorial and today we'll be learning about how to vectorize bitmaps. Bitmaps are JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs and when they are stretched you see pixels and um, if they're large you're going to have a large file so for professional work they must be vectorized. Toon Boom Studio will import these bitmaps but they will not edit. They know, they demand for artwork to work with vectors. So bitmaps has to be vectorized. There are two types of vectorizing techniques. The first type of technique is tracing. Um, that means putting one picture on top of the other and redrawing. And the other technique is Toonboom Studio Vector Import Tool. You vectorize bitmaps, and that's what we'll be doing today. My website address shows at the end of this clip. You're welcome to post uh, questions, suggestions, or remarks. Thanks for watching. Let's start with an empty document. And first, let's import a bitmap file, import file. And um, for this tutorial, we'll be using our logo as a sample file. Um, this is the exposure sheet. It has an elements. The drawing element comes by default on any document, and this is the logo we just imported. Note that uh, is a colorful logo. is yellow and red, and if we select cannot stretch, you cannot squeeze, you cannot turn it around. Not much of a use, it's always a way around. We can zoom the camera, which is not the main focus of our tutorial. But right now we better have a vector image over here. So I'm going to right click and delete the element and let's stay with the default drawing element that comes in any new document on Toon Boom. I'm going to ask for the first frame. Um, exposure cell, they call it. Uh, let's right click and ask for import and vectorize. Uh, if any artwork was done with pencil and paper, a scanner, it could come from Twain. In our case, is our logo from file. A open file dialog box comes right away. Let's select our logo. And then we have vectorization types. If we ask for texture, the filters are disabled. Most of the cases they are black and white. And the rule for filters is um, the more detail we want on our result, the more sharpening we want. The less detail, smoothing, loss of sharpness. Result is amount of noise, dirt, smudge there is on the vector result uh, that won't be cleaned. Um, whatever that's considered as dirt will be turned into white. Let's ask for OK. Um, the rule is now we have a vector image. Let's do the same thing that we did with our bitmap in image. Let's select, and all of a sudden we can squeeze, we can stretch, and we can turn it around. Uh, thanks for watching my video. It's possible to download the original text of this tutorial at our website say-web.com. Uh, you can also post questions, suggestions, and remarks. Thanks for watching.